Hi, I'm Joel Selwood from the Geelong Footy Club. I'm one of four brothers that have played league footy. Along with my brothers, we're always interested in the other brothers that have played the game. Here's my top ten. Team's all about at the moment. Selwood trying to get his team going. That's a wonderful effort from there. He roved it, threw it onto the boot in one motion and kicks a team-lifting goal. Number ten, Ben and Sam Reid. One's at Collingwood, one's at Sydney. Both premiership players. Ben's obviously been a, an All-Australian centre-half back and I think Sam will get a couple in his day also. Reid! Magnificently! He, uh, he's going to be pretty special, this guy. That is a terrific contested mark. He's only Collingwood pressing, 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 pushing, 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 backwards, backwards. Reid! At number nine, the Powers. Luke with the Brisbane Lions and Sam with the Western Bulldogs. Luke obviously won three premierships in his day and Sam was a handy utility player. Sam Power, inside 50, 40 metres out, Power! Great team goal from the Bulldogs! Huge number of players around the ball. Power, not a bad effort. It's better than not bad. The Lions get another one. At number eight, the Swallows. Andrew with the Kangaroos and David with the Suns. And the two swallows. Slashing. Andrew is a three-time best and fairest player and David's obviously the number one pick a couple of years ago. Quickly tactics. <laughs> swallow. Certainly not. Absolutely. I believe he goes like that though. <laughs> ah, swallow. You should have called it. There's no <laughs> demarcation just built here. <laughs> Back towards attacking 50. Pops it up. Primary. Oh. Swallow. How good was the defensive pressure to keep pushing the Bombers away from goal? Still an opportunity here for the Ruse as Thomas got caught in the front on tackle. Wells at ground level. Swallow around the corner. Got a bit of boot on it. Number seven, the Ablets. Obviously very close to me playing at Geelong. Now Gaz at the Suns. Six All-Australians between them. Gaz obviously got all of them. And Nathan played alongside me in the 2007 Grand Final. An explosive burst on the clearance. Gibbs. Oh, the Abbott brothers. It's like it's in the backyard. And Nathan says, I'll kick it. <laughs> He's got five. More destruction out of the middle. Sell with Nathan Abbott for two in a minute. He kicked a point after that. I wonder what his son will do. He won't make the same mistake. It's beyond 50 now. There's Steve Johnson enjoying himself. Stokes Ablett Here speaking of enjoying himself from the oh, pocket. That me. is as good as it gets from the genius. It's a splendid grab from Hind. Oh, he's he's off. Ablett. Well, he might go all the way himself. All they've got to do is Shepard. No one's ahead of him. He is he's gold class. He is gold class. Number six, the Rockers. Both great Collingwood forwards. Sav also made his name at North Melbourne Football Club. And to put it in the middle corridor to a contest situation that is poor football by Hargrave. Rocker lets it go from a long way. It is a mighty waste. Rocker says, kick it over my head. I've got the feel for it. Oh, he's got the taste for it. Anthony Rocker. I am amazing, so man. pleased. I am so pleased there was no free kick against Rocker for hanging it. Stands up. They're going to be very hard to beat. Here we go. It goes up. Oh, it's man. up. And it's home. What a goal. Number five, the Shores. Heath at Collingwood and Reese now at Sydney. Both premiership players and both big game players. Into the path of Montagna. They've got men back. Rebold in the middle. Calling for the football. Schneider. Will he give it to Rebold? He will. Rebold oh. runs it. Touched up the boots. Oh. oh my goodness. Can you believe that? Wonderful chase by Heath Shaw. In the air. 
He's got a running doors who's just come off the bench. He says, you, Shep, but I'm the runner. A couple of bounces, a triple, a quadruple from 50 metres out. Shaw running towards goal. It's going to be a goal. Really One of the goals of the year from his Shaw. Did very well. Swan's defence is under a fair bit of pressure for the last few minutes. Shaw's got the confidence, though, that he can run his way through. With a couple of bounces to help him get the journey. And that's a beautifully placed kick for O'Keefe, who kept on coming. Runs into a wall of doggies, so forced to go back to Shaw, who finds 10 metres, sells the dummy, drills it long, and Shaw kicks the goal. Great goal. Number four, the Vosses. Michael, the superstar, three-time premiership captain, also a number of All-Australians, and Brett, played with St Kilda Football Club. Now he may have just got himself into trouble. He just gets out, but it might just be for a moment, Voss! Oh, an elevation, clear the runway! Brett Voss sends them forward and finds the order. I tell you what, Hunter, Brett Voss... Chance one out here. Gaunt with the spoil. Voss! Brilliant! Sets it up for Longmire and McAdam. In front, though, a very good defensive mark is claimed down there by Voss. Off again, off a step. Parker underneath it. Voss, great work by the Brownlow medalist. Having two bounces coming clear from half back. Kicks it long in towards half forward. Lovell underneath it. Voss over the top. A great mark. At number three, the Scots. I had to fit my coach in there somewhere. Both Chris and Brad play with the Brisbane Lions in their Premiership era. Chris also coached me to a Premiership in 2011. Probably the toughest brothers on the list. Maybe the throw down, then a 50 metres after that. Top mighty. Oh, he stumped into the ground by Brad Scott. Oh, he was thrown in hard. And there's a bit of feeling between those two and the... This is Ian Fairley. A long kick, as they normally do. Ooh. Big fly was by oh. Scott, and he took the mark. Well done to the youngster, Chris Scott. <laughs> Scott again. <laughs> Easy. Right foot snap. It's a goal. Keating. Good hands from Ashcroft. Channeled attempt. Good control by Chris Scott. Launches for another one. Number two, the Burgoynes. Both Peter and Sean played in the flag with Port Adelaide in 2004. Sean, now gone on to play with the Hawthorne Football Club. Probably the silkiest brothers on the list. A roller inside 50. Hale jumped on. Rioli to himself, to Burgoyne. Shoot from there. Does from there. Like Primus, he bursts it out. Low. Oh, yes, a ball! They trail by a point. This to win the game after the siren. Peter Burgoyne, he's done it! Oh, look at that. And Carlton have been beaten for the third week in a row. Number one, the Corns brothers. Both also played in the 2004 flag at Port Adelaide. Kane, I've had a lot of tussles with over the time. Really hard player to play against, and a player that I really respect. And to see what Chad has done now with his career, and the job that he's doing at GWS, it's really inspiring what he's doing. Not sure he's really given McDonald much of a chance. The ball had its own mind, and it's gone for a goal! Forward. 12-5 inside 50, he's about to make it 13. He's poke again. Corns decides he'll go all the way from outside 50. Reigning goal support Adelaide. Everett won the tap on this occasion. And as far as Chad Corns swings onto the right boot, goes right to the goal. Oh, that's a magnificent goal! In the opposite pocket, Ebert. Back across the goal oh. front. Some courage shown there. That's a wonderful mark. As good as you'll see, Kane Corns. A bit of a mirror go around at the moment. Good matchup on the boundary, too. Great quarter being given. Schofield goes down with the outside of the boot. How about that one by Corns?